guys, it's Nikki. I know it's been a long time since I've made a guitar video, but um, I'm here. And I don't know why it took me so long to do this, because I feel like this was like the very first song that started everything for me, um, other than Love So Sad, of course. Those of you who don't know what this song is, um, I'm Ready was pretty much the very first like anthem I ever wrote with the intention of like changing the world with my music. I was 18 years old, I had just left home, graduated high school early, just left, and I moved in with this girl I barely knew who believed in me, and so I moved across the country. Um, I guess not across the country, I moved to New York, felt like across the country. And I was sitting in her New York apartment, it was snowing outside, I remember I was sitting on the floor and I was like barefoot, and I just realized I had to write an anthem, I had to write I don't know, it was almost like my battle cry. This was the very first song I ever just made and I put it on SoundCloud and for some reason, it was just a demo, a demo I put on SoundCloud. This song changed everything. Maybe not on the billboard charts, maybe not in the eyes of you know the labels and CEOs, but this is what hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, maybe even in thousands now, thousands of people have gotten these lyrics tattooed on their body. It's a song I wrote on guitar, and it it was just my battle cry, and I feel like it became the battle cry of thousands. So I wanted to do a video of finally a tutorial of how I play it. It's obviously not that hard of a song to play, it's four chords. But I just wanted to go through and show you guys like exactly how I play it, how I played it on tour, how I recorded it for um, my EP. So, if you've ever wanted to learn how to play, I'm ready. Now is the time. Alright, so let's get started. So when I would perform this song on tour during my acoustic set, I played it um, with the capo on the 4th fret, and the chords are A minor, F, C, and G. So these are the four chords for the entire song. It doesn't get crazy, it doesn't change up, those are the chords. I guess my strum pattern might change or is a little bit different, but those are the four chords. But for those of you who don't have a capo, pretty much a capo is just for lazy people like me who don't want to figure out the more intricate versions of the chords. So if you don't have a capo, don't worry, taking it off. The chords, if you're not playing with one, they are C sharp minor, ooh, A, E, B. See, it sounds the exact same. C sharp minor is a bit of a pain in the butt. That's why I end up using a capo, because I'm like, ah, my fingers. But yeah, C sharp minor. <laughs> a. B. So those are the chords, so I guess the strum pattern, I don't think it really changes, but I guess I'll just go through it. For the first verse, it's. I don't play with the pick. I don't do anything like how I technically should. So if you're looking for like the technical terms, you are in the wrong place. <laughs> um, if you don't know, I taught myself how to play guitar. I never took a lesson. I can't read music. Most of the things I know is from muscle memory and from playing by ear. So sorry if you want me to be like, is it the one up, two down? Like, I don't know. Just play it how you want to play it. But I guess this is how I do it. So that was this jump pattern for the verse. So let me go ahead and play that for you. I actually like to start a little bit quieter with like a little bit of finger picking and then build up. Because since um, the song is so simple, I feel like to make it more interesting, this drum pattern is very important. So I play it very soft here. And then so when I get to the chorus, I do full strum. And you can totally use a pick, it's just preference. One, because I can never find any. And two, it's easier to go between finger picking and strumming when I don't have a pick, at least for me. So, anyway, <clears throat> I didn't even warm up my voice, by the way, so do not judge me. I see beauty in the shape of feathers, fly like arrows, sparrows I seen strength in the face of death. Shadows fall across space of pain, still a strain for 
of greatness. And then the strum pattern and the, and the chords obviously stay the same for the next part, but I'm pretty sure for the pre-chorus it's it stays the same, so <clears throat> I'm so I'm like the worst teacher ever. I don't know why you guys want to learn this from me. <clears throat> Nose is still sacrificing. No fear, just drive like Tyson. In flight, I'll soar. Can't sit back no more. So that's where you would strum hard. Let me reiterate chords do not change. Uh, this is the part where if you would use a pick, like I used to actually have a pick and like rest it right here. So when I needed it, I would grab it and then strum. But if you don't, it's fine or whatever. But um, chorus is where you would strum hard. Chords do not change. The song is literally about finding the warrior within yourself. So I'm not gonna tell you that there's a right or a wrong way to play it. However you feel, do that. That's how you play it. <laughs> so let's see. Can't sit back no more I was waiting on the shit to realize I was waiting on this I'm young and I'm ready I'll run this shit to the death of me Another bar My ambition second verse starts almost immediately there's no break in between that so if you want to play this exactly like how I played this on tour or you want to try and mimic how the version on the EP sounds during the second verse I do change the way that I sing it so if you saw me on tour perform this you probably noticed that I didn't sing the lead all the way through so on stage when the track was playing I had them leave the lead in, which was the main lead that's been singing the whole time, and then I started to sing a full voice harmony on top of that, because I feel like that made it a little bit more interesting. So I'm not sure where exactly I do it, I'm figuring this out as I tell you, so let's see. So the second verse. Determination became anthem, home like phantoms, and I learned retaliate on all So that's where I did it, the second line. I stopped singing the lead and I did a harmony. I don't know if you noticed. So if you didn't do that, it would just sound like this. Determination came the anthem hung like phantoms and I learned retaliate on all my fears. I learned love was a type of cancer killed you faster, the answer was Find peace between those years. So that's the regular version, that's fine, that's correct, but I got really bored doing that because I was like, it's so monotone. So I um, went a different way and I was like, look what I can do, I can sing a harmony. So I'll show you guys the way that I sang it on tour in case you want to mimic that completely. This is going to hurt my voice so bad. It's, it's also more dramatic, it's a way more dramatic performance to do it this way because like you're building up and then right before the second chorus you can kind of like explode and like go into it in a more powerful sense. So this is how I do it on tour. Determination became the anthem hung like phantoms and I learned retaliate on all my fears. I learned that was a type of cancer killed you faster the answer was Find peace between those years Over trembling floors I'm steady Believe in my death or 
your eardrums out. That was my mic's right next to this, and I just screamed into it doing that. So you see what I mean by being more dramatic. You can literally go into like a ah, like a Whitney Houston kind of like eat these lyrics as I'm shoving them down your face. So that's the way that you can do that. <laughs> Takes a lot of breath, but if you feel like being dramatic, you should do it that way. Anyway. So that's that. And then the bridge, very, very simple. Nothing changes. I usually just finger pick and just make it like soft and quiet because I want to go back down before I build it back up for the last chorus. So. really all there is. I hope you enjoyed my ridiculous teaching methods. I hope you learned something. If nothing else, maybe you got a good laugh out of it. I hope I didn't blow your eardrums. That could have been so bad. I hope I, hope it, I don't even know if it sounds okay, but um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how you play that song because that song really means like so much to me. I still can't believe that people to this day are getting the lyrics tattooed. I was literally in Spain like a month ago in Barcelona going into a Taco Bell, of course, and there was a girl and she was like, oh my God, I just got, I just got my ambition is my weaponry tattoo down my spine and it was all the way down her spine. I'm like, we're in Spain. What? Six years after I put this song on SoundCloud, like that's insane. If you're one of those people out there who this song means that much to you, hopefully I, this meant something to you and you can learn how to play it and sing it and play it for yourself. So uh, yeah, I love you guys so much.